what is up Clems Cat here and today in this video I'm bringing you guys some more Pokemon Uranium now in the last video uh, we got here to Roch, uh, Rochfail town and we had gotten the PST which basically allows us to communicate with other Pokemon which is pretty insane so uh, now we have to run over into this route over here I believe it is this route and we need to go and rescue the Pokemon because they were stolen um, unfortunately, my game is deciding to lag out today. God dang it, um, why are you doing this to me, game? Why are you doing this to me? Anyways, um, yeah, so, let's quickly just pick up all of these berries. I'm actually curious what this third berry is. I've never really, I've never seen this one. It's a lumberry, hmm. Okay, well, there we go. Just pick up the Lumberry. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Put it in the berry's pocket. Okay, so, let us now head out to see if we can... Yeah, see, like, right here. If we get in front of it. 10-10, and then if we use the PST, it translates to no humans allowed. So, my guess here is that they have been brainwashed. Um, but let's see. So, Gerbolta, level 15 versus level 15. Thank God Gerbolta has Spark though, because if he didn't, I would just be crying because this fight would take so freaking long. But now that we have Spark, we can just like one shot all of these things, which is pretty great actually. Alright, there we go. Now I gotta fight this next one. Uh, what are you doing there? Okay. 10 10. What does it say? Okay, so it's basically just repeating the same message. Looks like they don't want, uh, they don't want us humans around. It's kind of sad. I kind of like us humans. Um, okay, so. Fight. Come on, there we go. Okay, uh, use spark. Let's see here. Is it gonna kill it? And it did. Alright, well that's good. Um... Alright, gain some- ooh, level 16, there we go. Gonna run up here. I wanna actually pick up this item quickly. The one super potion, definitely worth it. Definitely. Okay, um, what's he gonna say now? No humans allowed? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, we're kinda just breezing through all these guys. They're quite easy, don't know what they're trying to do here. But, um, yeah. So, guys, um, just while we're doing this, I'm just going to talk about some stuff. Um, so as you guys know, in my last video, I was talking about, uh, how I was going to be applying for HC Games. Um, well, I just, uh, like, just before recording this video, I actually, um, I had... Uh, actually made the application. Uh, how dare you try to take me away? Take this. Okay. So, I made the application. Uh, I got a little bit of help, but I pretty much wrote the entire thing by myself. And then, I haven't submitted it to the server yet. I'm waiting until I get my playtime up on the server. Because, uh, you don't exactly just want to apply to a server. And then, only have, like five minutes of playtime on it so um i'm currently trying to get my playtime up on it just kind of like playing around on the server and stuff uh, i currently have around eight hours of playtime on uh what's it called on Ooh. oh yes okay it's my one of my favorite parts in the entire story garlic kid okay but yeah as i was saying um you don't exactly want to have only like five hours of playtime or like five minutes of playtime so uh, i currently have about eight and a half hours on the normal server of the hcf and i'm currently playing on kit like kit map and i think i have like an hour and 45 minutes played on there so i'm trying to get them up, up both up to about eight and a half to ten hours of playtime before i submit it and then i'm also and because i'm also going to be active on team speak because it's a requirement of staff so I'm also kind of just like sitting in TeamSpeak, like helping people out if need be, doing all this stuff. So uh, yeah, it's it's pretty great. 
Um, I'm just thinking about it though, and I'm like, I'm trying to help out in chat as much as possible. But the thing is, not many. Oh God, rip. Uh, but not many of the people in or on the server actually need help for like, uh, like staff or not staff. They like um. What's the word for like just helping in chat? They need actually something that only staff can do, whether it be like banning a hacker or something. So I can't I can't exactly help out in chat, but where possible, I am. And uh, yeah. Also, if you guys are wanting to join my faction on HCF, um, in order to do that, if you just type in slash f who clumsy cat, you'll see that my faction is revitalized. Uh, Feel free to like send me uh, a message in game or something. I'll most likely see it because I'm usually just staring at chat. But um, yeah, send me send me a request, and I'll accept it if you are good enough. Also, you can like uh, apply for a place in the faction uh, in the comments if you want. But uh, that's pretty much it for that. Also. Uh, HCS is a little bit different than normal factions where if you type slash F who and then you actually type their name You can see where their base is like their base boards because it's a different way of rating where you have to die a certain amount of times to go Low enough where you actually like where people can just like open the door and get in Versus factions where they have to blow their way in regardless of anything so yeah, uh, it doesn't matter if you guys know where my base is, because anybody can find out where it is. But, um, Minyan, yeah, I gotta switch out. But, um, yeah, come by, check out my base. Uh, it's not quite completed yet. There's still some stuff I have to add to it. Uh, I still have to add the roof, and, um, yeah, I have to add the roof, and I have to add the basement, and then I'm thinking of adding some traps around the base. Uh, I'm not sure though, but it, it'll probably uh, it'll probably happen. So uh, yeah, again, guys, uh, apply in the comments if you want to join. Just uh, just tell me like how you'd rate yourself as a bard, diamond, archer, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and um, I'll take a look at them. Tell me if you have team speak or whatever. Tell me if you're squeaker because squeakers are very annoying. Very much so, but um, yeah, feel free to do so, and I will look at all the comments and I'll make a decision on who should join my faction. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for HCF HCF wise. Uh, not much else, I guess, to say. Um, other than that, uh, also. Hmm, I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to think, like, uh, hmm, I'm just thinking here, um, so yeah, we defeated Garlic Kid now, all of his Pokemon are now leaving him because he let them die, because he's a bad trainer, um, yeah, and, okay, so as you see here, Garlic Kid's like, as long as there are Pokemon that are held against their will, I'm gonna free them, I swear it on my life, or whatever, um, he sound, he seems really bad, but he like later on in the game he's actually really good. Like he's really cool. So yeah, um Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um Can we get over with this, please? That's enough talking. God, these people just don't wanna stop talking. God dang it. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, there we go. And then Bambo is left. Uh. Okay, come on. Alright, EXP share. This is insane. I love it. And we are going to now slap it on uh, Fortog because... Okay, can you stop talking? Thank you. Uh, if I go to bag, which is over here, and I go to bottom, give to four tog, switch the items, 
Now for now Fortog will gain XP at the end of every battle and he will level up much faster which is really nice. But um yeah, I'm just trying to think of what else to say because I kind of hit the main points so far. That's where the uh research lab is. Um Yeah, anyways, um I'm not quite sure. Yeah, uh, okay, well, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're, uh, as you saw when I was running back, uh, there was a little pathway underneath. Well, we need to go in that pathway and, like, or in order to progress to the next area. So if I quickly just run past, there was a trainer standing in front, right here. Yeah, so we need to fight her and then we can get through. So, here we go. Um,. Sent out Tankoon. And alright. There we go. Fight. Brick break. Should be super effective. Yep. That's what I thought. Killed it in one shot, which is just honestly, that's really nice. Four to level 10 now. Okay, that's good. Now we're just gonna get all the XP on Fortog because well, Fortog really needs some XP. Okay, um, like, who are you? You're kind of cute. Love that shirt. Just love it. Oh, want to battle? It's like, no, not really. I mean, you could just knock out your own Pokemon and then give me the experience. That works too, but, that, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so we've got Flassy. If we have any ground-type moves, that would be good. No, I guess we'll use Return then. There we go. Um... Oh god, if it's gonna charge, and I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. I think this is gonna be the more powerful attack. Uh, or, sorry, return over Brick Break. Just because of the fact that Brick Break, I'm like 99% sure Flappy resists. So, yeah. Uh, but what I would love is Flappy to charge up, get like positive 7 special attack or whatever, and then just does stuff, and it's great. Um, charge. Begin charging power. Does he... Does it boost his special attack, special defense? Defense, okay, never mind. Um, well, yeah, uh, if I already spark on him right now, it would do no damage whatsoever. Like, it'd do maybe one damage. Um, come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, this should be good, but, uh, yeah. So, I'm really wanting a Bas- uh, a Bashan. I'm- I'm trying to find them, but it's, like, just not working. Uh, no. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to find a place, um... What's that? I'm trying to find a place where, uh, they spawn, but they're just not spawning for whatever reason. It's really annoying. Um, okay, Gibraltar is dead, which means I'm gonna need to switch out to Burby. And then we're because uh, if it only knows uh, bulldoze, which would be great if it only knew that, we can then just constantly air cutter this thing. Dang, it's almost dead. Low kick. Uh, as long as it doesn't kill us with low kick, we're good. That did almost nothing. Okay, and Luna Pup is now dead, which is good. There we go. Gain some more EXP. Four target to level 11. Dang, look at all this experience is coming in. Sure. Um. Okay, here we go. Um. Give me a good battle right here. Right now, let's go. Let's have a battle. Um. Okay, so. Connect a monk. That is electric ground, I think. So. If we use mud slap, it should do a lot of damage. Okay. That's not good. At all. Because then it's special defense is gonna be like positive a thousand and my damage is gonna do Actually no. Mud slap is physical. Yeah, mud slap is physical, so I don't think it should matter. It's just okay, this connect the monk is literally just like that other uh f like the flaffy that we saw. It's just gonna friggin' charge the entire time. Yeah. Mud slap is physical. Okay, so 
Uh, this is gonna take a while. So, maybe I'll speed it up or something. There we go. Alright, much better. Now we just gotta kill him again. But at least now he's got burn. We're just gonna do, like, a lot of damage. So, there we go. Burn. Look at that damage that it just did. That's really good. But we're almost out of mud slap. But it should die before we run out of mud slap, though. So, yeah. Uh, again, I'll be right back. There we go, alright. Kinetic Monk is now dead, which is great. And everybody gets some XP. Uh, cost draw. Mm, yes. I'm gonna switch out for Turlard, because why not? Um, okay, so. I'm not sure what cost draw looks like. Oh, this thing. This thing's like poison water. Alright, magnitude 4. Seriously? Okay, well, that still does a lot of damage. Uh, acid, resisting, and I can't get poisoned, which is great. So we're just gonna constantly- oh, magnitude 7. Okay, that has to kill this thing. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna be soup. yeah. See, oh, and crit 2. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Uh, 111, 111. There we go. Alright, we're just rolling in the monies too. Okay, now we have to go around her. Over here. I'm pretty sure. Oh! Here's another kid. Okay, um. I'm just gonna cut to when I get through this thing, so. I will be right back. Alright, then, guys. Uh, I kinda got dropped while I was in there. Um. I was going all the way through and I was almost there. I had like one or two trainers left, but like five of my six Pokemon were dead and the last one had like seven HP while asleep. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna wrap up the video here. We got, I got kind of far through the forest. Um, but uh, yeah, we did the main part of this episode, which was Garlic Kid and um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to slap that like button down below as well as comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I'm gonna throw my numbers away. Now I feel I'm done. And I'm cursed by every day. Till my time is gone. I've never felt.